hey guys welcome back to another video in this video i'll be showing you all how i achieved this look and installed this lace frontal wig so if you're interested in seeing how i achieve this then keep on watching okay so first things first i started off with the wig um this is how it came out the pack this wig is from rpg hair show i believe it's the deep wave i'll try to link in below if i can find the link um but yes it is a full lace wig or that's not a full lace wig it's a 360 wig so there is lace all around the perimeter and it came with these three clips the two in the front and then one in the back um so i started off by washing the hair first so it's wet right now and i'm just gonna go in and comb it out brush it out um and prepare to start to customize it a little bit so as you can see the hairline has already been uh, it already came slightly plucked so I didn't have to do too much um, I'm just going in to further customize it a little bit more just to make it look appear a little bit more natural So right now I am combing out the baby hairs and I'm just starting with the row after that and just tweezing it Very randomly um, in no particular order just to thin out the edges a bit more doing this you want to make sure you don't stay in one place for too long or you could create a ball spot or you know a thin area so try to move around the hairline a little bit as you are tweezing it um, now I'm going in to fold back the baby hairs and thin those out a little bit more okay so unfortunately I don't have the footage of me cutting this lace off um, I wore it before I wore it prior to this video um as you can see by like the makeup and me cutting the lace but i didn't like how the process was for me to apply it or install it i mean so i'm going in here to try to create a glueless wig or a wig where i won't have to use as much glue or spray or anything so what you see here is me cutting off those clips um i cut off the two in the front i believe i kept the one in the back and I'm just going in with some scissors and this razor here to remove them. And I'm actually going to replace them with this. This is a thick band from, I believe you get it from like a Michaels. I think I got mine from Joanne Fabrics. And I just went in and measured the back of my head from a little above ear to ear. So you kind of want to put it right where those clips were. Um, this looks really small and tight and it was I believe I went in and made a longer one because you don't want it too tight but you want it tight enough to lay flat so I'm just going in with my needle and thread and sewing in the band like I said where those clips were and this was just a little method I used to tie a knot in each stitch just so it can stay put you just want to wrap it around the needle and pull it through So now I've already applied my ball cap. Um, I, I recorded me doing it, but the footage, I, I don't think I was recording. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yes, basically you just want to put on the ball cap and use the spray and the glue that I showed and go ahead and cut it off once it's dry. And now I'm just going in with my foundation powder to blend it in and kind of just make it a ball cap. So now I'm just going in and placing the wig on my head and adjusting it to line up with my hairline. And as you can see, so this is what I meant by partially glueless. Um, the flaps on the, the corners 
don't necessarily lay down flat so i will be going in with some got to be glue sprayed um to lay that part down and here i'm just fixing my ball cap as you can see i put it down a little too far so i'm just going ahead and using some water to loosen it and cut it off So now I'm going in with my got to be glued hairspray and I'm putting that right in front of the ball cap and just spreading it down and I'm going to use my hair dryer to go ahead and wait until it gets a little tacky. I'm going to do this twice so it can be really tacky. Um, you can do it more times. I wouldn't go too many because you know you don't want it to become too sticky. So. I'm just going in for the second layer, rubbing it in. I'm just gonna dry it down again. And then once it becomes tacky, I'll go ahead and place the wig down and stick it to the place where I put the glue. And I'm gonna go in with the blow dryer again, just to dry it down and lock it in place. And then I just had a couple pieces of extra lace, so I'm just fixing that and going in with the Gatsby Beat glue spray one more time just to, again, lock it in place and use the blow dryer to dry it. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So here you can see that the middle is not glued down at all. It's completely glueless, but it still looks pretty seamless. So now I'm going to use an elastic band to tie down the perimeter even more so it can melt and style the rest of the wig. I'm going in to define the curls first I'm taking this spray bottle water to saturate the hair and you already start seeing the curls come to life but I am going to go in with this Nairobi um, foam to further define the curls and give it some hold So I did that to both sides and now I'm clipping up my hair so I can start on my makeup. Um, first starting off with this eyebrow gel, I believe it was, it's called Essence, I want to say. Um, I just got it from Ulta, I think it's Ulta's brand. And I'm just going in with this pomade to fill in my brows. And then I'm also going to go in with the NYX, um, I forgot the name of it. I think it's like a it's like a pen in order to like give me like some hair like strokes. There it is. Yes. So I'll go ahead. I'm using that in the front area just to um, give my eyebrows a little bit more definition. And then I'm just going in with my concealer to um, outline and define my brows more. So 
and I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty foundation this is in the color 400 and I'm using my damp beauty blender to go ahead and blend that all the way in it does look like orange um, but this does oxidize and you know darkens a little bit in order to match and I'm going in with this brush to go ahead and blend out my eyebrow uh, concealer just so that wouldn't look crazy and now I'm just going in with my LA Pro Girl Concealer. This is in the color Fawn, I believe. And I'm just using that to conceal under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, um, my mustache area, my chin, and my forehead. I like to use this smaller beauty blender for my concealer just to make it a little bit easier and get like in there really good. Now I'm just going in with the lighter shade concealer and using that in the innermost corners of my eyes and blending it out a little bit more. I'm going in with that same sponge to go ahead and add the Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder. So all the places where I applied my concealer just to set. Now I'm going in with this brush here to just dust away the powder and blend it all in. And now I'm going to go in to take off this elastic band. And I know it looks crazy, so please bear with me. The makeup is still, is still in the works. But we're going to go ahead and touch up this wig. I mean, it looks fine the way it is, but I just wanted to go in and... Um, kind of lay it flatter so I use this even wax stick and use the hot comb on top I didn't really like the even wax stick with for doing this because once I put the heat to it it just kind of melted away and became shiny so um, I actually preferred the got to be glued hairspray which you'll see here in a second that I used um, and yeah so I went ahead and used that and did the same thing and used the hot comb on top and that seems to hold it in place a lot better. So now I'm just brushing back my baby hair so I can finish up my makeup. I'm going in with this black radiance um, contour powder and I'm just using that to kind of bronze and um, bring some definition back to my face. And uh, I put it on my forehead and I just put it below my cheekbones um, to contour those places and bring some warmth into my face. And now I'm just going in with the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder just to blend everything together. And I'm using this Milani blush and I'm going to contour my nose here. I was also very much <laughs> in a rush this day. I, at one point, was just like, forget the video because I was just trying to finish my makeup because I was running so late. Um, but luckily, it, it, it still came together. Here, I'm just putting on my lashes. And I'm using this eyeshadow here. I'm just like throwing it on my face <laughs> with no rhyme or reason because, again, y'all, I was in a rush. And I just quickly throw on my outfit um, that I have here and start doing my lips, which I use the MAC pencil. Um, it's like a brown shade. And then I use this NYX lipstick. And I went on top of that with the Fenty um, gloss just to bring it all together. But yeah, y'all, this is the finished look. Um, this is the outfit that I chose to wear this is a dress from pretty little thing um so super cute i was going to a tea party this day so i think this look was definitely appropriate i think everything came together so well this day i felt so beautiful but yeah y'all let me know in the comments what you guys think if you have any questions about any products or any steps that i use but for now i gotta go i'll see you guys in the next one bye